Hi folks, here we are at the Adamstown Renninger's uh, Flea Market Antique Show in uh, Pennsylvania. So this is a real good one. We got up real early this morning, headed over. This gets going before, uh, before sunrise and uh, it's a real active market and uh, just a good area for finding good old stuff. And we'll take you for a walk around, show you what we found. And at the end of the video, we'll show you what we bought. So stay tuned. Well, this is one of the guys that comes in late. This is kind of a sales tactic. You pull in an hour after everybody else, and this is what happens. You get a swarm of vultures on there. It's kind of funny. And they all fight over everything, and then in a half hour, there'll be nobody, nobody left there. Well, this is the dealer entrance where they go in early in the morning, but we're gonna get over to the outside stuff, and look around first, and then we'll come into this uh, pavilion here in a minute. A place like this, you'll never know what you're gonna find. All the V8 emblems, Texas license plates here. I'll show you as many prices as we can. Some things don't have prices, some do. And some Ford steps off a of Model T there, step plates. But uh, there'll be anything from flea market stuff to good quality antiques. There's a nice spool cabinet there. Looks like somebody's painted it black, unfortunately. One guy driving in here. See some good primitives here, too, out in Pennsylvania. Yep. Nice little fishing creel there. Look at the uh, wooden crane there, the locomotive with a few cars. What are you asking for the train? I'll uh, have to get a hundred. hundred bucks. Pretty cheap. Seems like a good deal on that train. Kind of a primitive looking wooden train for a hundred bucks. looking 30s they're calling it 50s but that's a 30s uh, truck there with a trailer on it real streamlined looking truck for 150 here's another one here those are cool I don't know how well you can see what those people keep walking by but there it is it's signed by the artist track trailer contemporary art 1950s they're calling it but it's an older looking truck 150 each there's a nice hubbly set up here mint in a box you got the dump trailer the log truck the low boy and two cabs don't see a price on that one here's the lid for the box good looking little clock there for 475 nice looking Speaker here with a yeah. airplane in there. Spirit of St. Louis right there. That's pretty cool. $5.95 on that one. All kinds of signs here. $2.95 on the beech nut porcelain. I don't know why they it, but Look at the McKay chain and accessories. That's kinda of wild with the Bronco on there. See the Bronco pulling a car with a chain. 350 on that. 295 on the Kendall with a hole in the center. Bus station is 795. That one's pretty cool there with the truck reflector on that truck stall that says 495 on that. This is kind of a neat one. No parking sign. 895. With a heavy base to hold it on the curb. $27.95 on the school slow zone there. Gonna catch a lot of shadows here unfortunately, but with the sun coming up, there's nothing you can do about it. There's a Hudson cutaway Hudson there for a hundred and a quarter. Kerosene sign is $7.95. And a wolf's head 
795, that's a flange. Both those are flange signs. All kinds of toys there, miscellaneous. These lamps are pretty wild here, the mid-century lamps. Tree turner. That's a base for a Christmas tree there. Look at the old price. $4.88. <coughs> the holiday stuff is really, really hot now, whether it's Christmas or Halloween or whatever, but all of it's very collectible. Nice little diamond die cabinet there. There's a 1920s Buddy L dump truck there for 385, all original. Cool looking pedal car there, Packard it says on the front. Nine and a quarter on that one. One fifteen on the little uh, locomotive there. I'm not sure if that's Steelcraft, maybe. I'm not sure. There's some blow molds. These are real popular these days. People pay more than you would think for some of those. It's amazing what they sell for. Crystal Rock, kind of a cool sign. A little rust on my edge. All kinds of glassware here. It's quite a painting there. Some information on it. Yeah, that's what you doing? sign and give away to people, you know. 9500 on that one. There's some cool art and and pictures there. I don't know anything about that one, but 9500 you better know what you're doing if you get into that one. I did ask on the uh, ginger ale sign, the one with the rust on the edge. Kind of weird, the lady, as soon as she saw our camera, she like ran off and I asked the price and she said 200 as she was walking away. It's kind of odd. Not sure what the deal was going on there, but there's some old uh, cat guns here. This is kind of wild. It's a monster magnet, whammo. Some sort of game with magnets on the bottom. Nice little spinner rack here for put your hardware in there. There you go. All you wanted to know about break dancing right there. I think I'm past that point now. Owl sculpture there. 50 bucks on that. This thing's kind of wild here. Don't see a price on that one. Some of these you can just see the prices right in the video. Some I'll talk about. Fifty-nine bucks on the utensil carrier. There's some good-looking primitives in this space. Bench with old red paint there, hundred and thirty-five. Nice little small cupboard there for hundred and a quarter. Small miniature dresser here for $249. Some more Halloween stuff there. $189 on the Jack o' Lantern. These are kind of wild. Owl bookends of some sort. Mm. 
Bob Marley. There's some art for you if you're into that kind of stuff. This is a motion lamp. Got the boy P in there. The way those work is the uh, the design on it is real lightweight and it spins as the heat from the bulb goes up. It spins the uh, design and it makes action. Four and a half on the mail pouch thermometer there. Japanese toy SIE truck there with a it's got a GMT cab over for the truck pulling up 235 on the crock of the bird there blue decorated 350 on this one Fort Edward New York it says on there 70 bucks on the planters tin we had one like that not too long ago. I think that's about what I got for it. Nice blue decorated coffee pot there. Blue swirl, 75 bucks. I don't like this stuff, I don't have no market for it. I got a lot of advertising stuff in this booth. Look at the lager and ale tray there. That's pretty nice with the Indian on it there. 475 on that. Hundred and a quarter on the woman drinking a, drinking beer on the tray there. Eighty-five on that no trespassing. Coke sign is two seventy-five. Oh, I saw you Seven up carrier there for sixty bucks. Look at the Paps yeah. blue ribbon. That's pretty cool. Chalkware. The Hennessy one there, the dog is 155. Cigarette sign there is a flange for two and a quarter. Five and a half on the Paps Blue Ribbon. There's some cool thermometers here. I've got one just like this, the Coca-Cola with the woman drinking the Coke there, 350 on that one. <clears throat> and these cigarette runs are one and a quarter a piece. All kinds of license plates here. <clears throat> the Pennsylvania porcelain there, 1914, is 140. The old plaid uh, cooler there, picnic cooler. There's a diet like lemon lime flavor. It's a pop clock, 160 on the Pepsi thermometer. Put a few cans here. This one's Supreme. I don't see a price on that one. That's probably the most expensive in the lot there. The Falcon port can is 65 bucks. 80 bucks on the V-Doll. Would you use them for shooting or just to wear them for... Go down this so, aisle a little bit here. I never, I never Look at the uh, rooster here toy. Looks like as you roll it, it rocks back and forth. Yeah. 75 bucks on that, kind of a full cart piece. Got some cool, cool oyster cans here. Sailor Girl. 95 bucks on that one. Shelter Island oysters. 85 on that. Oyster cans are popular. Is it fresh oysters? $78. I've had good luck with oyster cans if you can buy them right. Another small oyster can, H&B brand, 78 bucks on that one. But I mean, they're high quite quality. a few of them. New ones of them are. A lot of duck calls and hunting stuff here too. Hey, 
Well, this person's got all kinds of trays of stuff. Small toys. Just, you can see this booth goes all the way around here and down that side there, just trays and trays of stuff. Some Abraham Lincoln bookends there. Look at the bear claw bookends, those are kind of wild. Some of it's antique stuff, some of it's just flea market stuff. You get some interesting stuff. These are old furniture casters there. You put your leg of your furniture on that and wheel it around. Uh, we had a screaming kid there, so we had to cut that off a little bit, but here's the rest of the stuff in that booth. Sometimes you find automotive stuff, like here's uh, some horns there. We're always kind of on the lookout for automotive stuff because it's mostly what we're doing, but I do like old toys and signs and all kinds of antiques. So at a place like this, we're usually looking out for a few standout items, you know, things that are, you know, the, the, it's different than the swap meets, I should say, because at the swap meets I can find, you know, five, ten dollar stuff that's good good stuff that we can resell but like at a place like this I'm kind of looking for standout items that are real good stuff you know because the, the general stuff for me anyway on the antique market isn't a big seller we're mostly doing the automotive stuff even though we do have an antique shop it doesn't doesn't move a lot of the cheaper stuff anyway nice little ice cream scoop there 20 bucks All kinds of stuff. Glassware, paintings, prints, uh, pottery, you name it. Jump to this other side here for a minute. Look at this one here. Got some guys painting. Kind of look like Curly from the street, Three Stooges there almost. Well, how do you feel it's now? A good, uh, Better. Okay. Piece of artwork with hockey on it. And we had a little music there, so we had to jump ahead. There's some more bull molds, snowmen. Forty-five on the planter. Some of these spaces really got to look close at the small stuff. Indian head bank there for 80 bucks. Because there could be about anything in the small collectibles and they're hard to spot from a distance. X lax tin there for 20. There's a Chevrolet fuel cost calculator, 25 bucks on that. I don't know what age it is, Chevy trucks. Looks like 1979, so square body era. This guys got some more toys here. 120 on the grader, Tonka grader. Three and a quarter on the American Flyer, a nice American Flyer train lot there. Get a lot of train stuff. A little press steel truck from the 30s there, 220. Here's another one here. This is a nice one. It's got replacement tires, 185. Here's a little uh, cameo carrier model, like a scale model, 110 on that one. Got some cool stuff. Look at this guy, 695 on this cowboy or whatever he is there. Or Indian, maybe? I'm not sure. Yes, 
probably assemble one of your own. 150 on the doll. Not sure what that is. Looks like Freddy, Freddy Krueger style glove there for 75 bucks. Look at all the robots here. 300 on this one. 150 on that one. They're all made up out of radio pieces and this one's got a Ferguson emblem on the front and a piston for a head and a Ford mirror for a antenna. That one's 300. Just all full cart. Some of them, here's another one that's made up out of Ford uh, car parts. This one is a taillight trim piece. This one's got a Ford emblem and a, and a light for a top there. Got some cool stuff. This one here has got a grill on the face. That's a 36 Ford horn cover on that one. That one's 300. This must be a, I don't know if that's a clock top or what, 30 bucks on that. Look at the little children's uh, handicap shoes there. See them little braces for the legs and the little shoes. This is a nice piece here, Art Deco lamp. It's a woman with a light bulb behind it. All kinds of cool stuff in this booth. Look at this here, all made up out of marbles. It's a, a vase of some sort. It's a hundred and a quarter, and all the marbles are glued to it. There's a hot rod tool tray or something there. 45 bucks on that. 20 bucks on a snake there. Looks like a rattlesnake laying there. Could wake somebody up in South Dakota with that. The folk art stuff is really popular now because you really can't set a price on it. You know, there's one-offs of stuff, so it enables you to price them differently, you know, and everybody has their own ideas, so you might be able to make a little money that way. Look at the cars and all kinds of women pictures and stuff on that folding screen, 175. 10 bucks a piece on the heads. But it's not like some things like coins or stamps or toy trains or things that they have a price guide and they they stick to that price you know you kind of set your own price it's like the artwork too paintings and stuff it's you can uh, set your own number because you only got one painting you know at the country store paper dispenser there for 25 bucks rolls it out and you chop it off with a blade on it and I'm an interesting shoe there, made out of aluminum, looks like. Couple cap guns, that's a Fanner 50. That's a good one, but the condition isn't the greatest. They're made by Mattel. Bunch of early mason jars. Mason's patent 1858. Bunch of silver plated stuff there. Some more advertising signs in this space. Armstrong tires. Nice tin sign there. All kinds of cans. I don't see many. Yeah, that one's 20 bucks on the Quaker State. It's a nice Texaco there, a grease can. Still got grease in it. You said he was going to be back. 
with the cash in it? Yeah, I have it up here. Okay. He didn't want to... Some tire ash trays there. These are kind of cool. Have a good one. Oh! Chevrolet. Thank you later, man. Hundred and thirty on the big picture there. There's an early spittoon for one ninety five. Pottery. How you doing? Good. It's kind of a cool can there with a snowman on it. Four and a half. Quaker Street for six seventy five. It's like nineteen seventy on that one. Two and a quarter on the thermometer here. Two and a quarter on that one too. Lively limes. Some sort of pop. Five and a half on the wolf's head. And the Willard battery is eight seventy five. Got kind of a cool Pennzoil can there too. That's 120. This is one of the better remaining weekly flea markets in in the country because uh, a lot of them don't exist anymore. We used to have some good ones when I lived out in New Hampshire, but they're all gone. This is every week, and then they have extravaganza ones, which are drawing people from all kinds of states when they have the extravaganza. I've never been to that one, but they do have that a few times a year, I think. Look at the Plymouth promo there, 125. Okay. Looks like a 50 Plymouth Suburban. Two and a quarter on the Smith Miller. Got a cool international there too, products miniature. How you doing? Nice little Hubbly LaSalle there. Some of the Hubblies have really good detail. So do some of the Tootsie Toys, actually. Here's a nice little Japanese tin, I guess, motorcycle, 95 bucks. A couple of dope keys. And a hundred and a hundred and a quarter on the two dope keys. Kinds of cool military stuff. Military stuff is something I know nothing about, so I couldn't explain any of that to you. I just pan over it. You can see what you want to see there. Slow it down on there if you want to see something specific. 375 on a nice big wooden tub there. That's pretty cool. Five bucks on the beer tray there. All kinds of stereo views in that box. There's a chess set for 55 bucks. Jump over to this side. That's an original tray, it might be a reproduction, I'm not sure.
Kind of a cool bicycle sign there. Some more blow molds there. All kinds of ornaments too. It's kind of cool. That's a drink mixer. You clip it on the cup, flip the switch, and mix your drink. I think she had 60 bucks on the drink mixer. Pretty cool piece, so. Some instruments, 40 bucks on that one. Harmony, 40 on that one, 100 bucks on that one. Guitar. Smiley tray for 20 bucks. pair of uh, mid-century lamps there. What are you asking for this? Uh, five. Forty bucks in the Plymouth grill work for the, ra for the uh, radio and the dash. Sixty-five on a pair of those dresser set. Thirty bucks on a little child's wicker rocker. Kind of cool inkwell. Looks like a foreign one, maybe. Forty bucks on the picture frame there. Forty bucks a piece. Get all kinds of whiskey boxes there. 85 bucks a piece, it looks like. A nice little painted box there for 150. It does work. I did test it, it does work and everything. <laughs> well, we're going to finish up on the end here, then we'll jump up to the building. There's a bunch of stuff in the building. I'll just check this guy out on the end. He had a couple things that were nice. The old Snoopy Fisher Price toy there, 20 bucks. How you doing? Thank you. Yeah. There were a lot of people talking about how good it was today, busy, mm -hmm. saying it was like the old days. Nice little mixing bowl there, pink and blue decoration, 20 bucks. Seems cheap enough. This is a slot machine, one arm bandit there. Five cent machine. Looks all original. 1500 on that. And from there, we'll jump up to the building. Yeah, we'll take a quick spin through the pavilion here. This is what they call a pavilion, but they do have a, a building, like a, a semi-permanent building as well with all kinds of antique dealers in there. Big horse head there. Here's a nice tramp art box here with the mirror on the back, little shelves. 350 bucks. Well, that looks a little poison bottle there, 85 bucks. Forty-five on the 
The guy's looking at there is 45 bucks. Got some good looking toys here. Smith Miller. Here's a really clean Tonka truck there for 235. Tonka Wrecker. Smith Miller's nine and a half for the tandem trailer. Real clean. Looks like it's, I don't know if it's probably been restored. I'm not sure. Nice looking big uh, tin race car there for $750. If it's a cork war, the no, it's a Structo. That one's a Structo, $495 on the Structo rack body truck. And here's a nice Buddy L wrecker there. $385 on that one. Looks like all original paint. There's a good Buddy L, big series wrecker there, 1475. Three and a quarter on the Zeppelin. Beware of dog. 20 bucks, those are kind of cool. Nice little tin airplane there for 250. And a couple little airflows here. Those are a wine dart, I think. 75 a piece. Look at the auto hauler. That's a nice one there. Four and a quarter. See all the cars on it there. One truck getting loaded on the back of it. A little cast iron cement mixer too. 265. Fourteen hundred on the pedal car here. That's a nice one. Let's see if I can get down lower. Check it out. It's got kind of a boat tail back, got opening door on that side. Nice piece. Grain dryer there, three and a quarter on that one. Sign, 95 on the Pioneer. School zone's kind of nice. Reading Auto Club, it's Reading, Pennsylvania, three and a half. 975 on the nice clean fishtail coke sign. Oh yeah. <laughs> Orange crush. This is cool too, the snail. That's made by Mobile. The one the same one that makes the mobile horse makes that mobile snail. We've talked about those in the past in some of the videos. Telephone sign here for 475. Looks like some. I don't know if that's. I guess that's uh, metal. And it's enamel. 65 bucks on that. Kind of a swirl pattern. A couple nice gun stocks there. Tiger maple looks like. Good, not, good looking grain to it. This place turns up a lot of great stuff throughout the year. So if you're in the area, it's a definitely a, a must do. If I lived around here, I'd be down here every week checking it out. But we're a long ways away, so. We just come when we when we can. We're out for Carlisle Swap Meet in Hershey. So we figured we'd check this out while we're here. And we did buy a few things, which we're gonna show you here in a little bit. Look at the race car trophy there. Get that one, you can win the race without having to actually win it. Mm -hmm. 
Jump over to this side here. This guy's got a lot of a lot of antique bottles here. Those are hard to catch on a video. There's all kinds of powder, different uh, medicine bottles. Look at the old Yinling beer bottle. That's kind of cool. Ten bucks on the can there. Marine varnish. How you doing? Fine, how are you? Good. You take a picture of this stuff? No. Uh, video for YouTube. Oh my God, be on YouTube? You will be. <laughs> okay. Some canteens here, 25, 20, 40 bucks a piece. A Civil War belt in there, the US on it. You do find a lot of Civil War stuff down this way because you're not far from Gettysburg in that area and it's been highly collectible down here for a long time. This guy over here has got some cool stuff. Lots of automotive stuff. Here's a nice little compass there you can put on your dash. Looks like a 60s one. Got a locking Chevy hubcap goes on your spare tire so you don't lose it. That's a hundred bucks. These are like 75, 85 a piece on the nice shifter knobs or uh, steering knobs. Sorry. These are the shifter knobs in there. Lots of uh, cast aluminum license stoppers here too. South Boston right there. That's kind of a neat one. The American Legion, South Boston. Yeah, all kinds of them. Pennsylvania. All over the place. Got some nice toppers there. 90 bucks on the little wolf's head can. <laughs> Look at all the ice picks here. 18 to. Looks like the cheapest one I see is 18, the highest one was 50. $24 a piece on this table. Nice little pedal car back here. It's called an Ace. 685 on that one. $24 a piece on this table, too. Not bad little print there for that price. $24 table here as well. And the same here. He likes pricing stuff at $24. Nice early tray there with square nails on the end of it. Some handles in the middle of it. That's a good deal for 20, 24 bucks. Lighters. 25 bucks on that lighter. Good prices on the lighters. Buy any or all. Okay. Thank you. 50 bucks on the big lighter. Oh boy, here's a TV guide. They wouldn't be making that one today, would they? Cosby on there. Just sees the stuff here. It's amazing the amount of stuff. And like I said, this is a weekly deal. Every week, 
So come on out, check it out. Better yet, sit up here and sell some extra stuff you have. It's always nice to get involved with these things. Here's some dinky or corgi toys. That one's a dinky, little rambler wagon. Bucks in the little log cabin there. That's kind of cool. Handmade. That's a really nice early folding mirror. 120 on that. 1860s. It's a nice mahogany candle box. That's really nice. All hand dovetailed and stuff. 250. Another little fishing creel there, a little wicker fishing creel, but that's a different style one. I haven't seen one quite like that before. It's got a different design to it. Or a style, I should say. Look at all the spoons here, ladles. All hand forged, good looking stuff. Hi there. Some more hand forged stuff there, a big bracket there, wall bracket. Good morning. It's an antique book press there. Tollware stool looks like. Well, anyway, that'll end the video there. So if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe if you haven't already. Nice blue box here, 95 bucks. Please give us thumbs up, give us good comments. All these kinds of things help. And uh, we got lots of stuff planned. We just did Carlisle, we're going to Hershey swap meets. So those will be automotive ones. We do an occasional antique show or flea market here and there. And uh, lots of automotive stuff, picks in South Dakota, ghost towns, all that kind of stuff. So check out the rest of our videos that we've already got posted or things we got coming up. And uh, please interact with us on there. Give us some sort of feedback. And uh, we'll keep doing these and hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, folks, as promised, we're going to show you what we got here. Uh, this was a good flea market, all kinds of cool stuff. We've been here many times before, and it's one of the last of the old school antique shows, flea markets in the area, so it's a good place to come. And anyway, we'll show you what we got here. Like I say, if, we, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, give us good comments, all those things help, and we appreciate it. This is a 1930s pressed steel airplane. It's a large scale, full fendered uh, wheels there. It's a Lockheed Cirrus, good pressed steel plane. We got a White Horse Scotch Whiskey. This is made out of chalkware. Just a cool looking advertising piece. I think a bottle would set right on his head there. Uh, we got a few oil bottles. That's what these extra tops are. That's a Huffman. We'll show you the other ones. I don't know if they're all. That one's a Marquette Manufacturing, St. Paul, Minnesota. There's another Marquette. And another market. So there's three markets and one Huffman. I bought this for my wife. It's a nice early uh, tray here, utensil box or something, square nails and stuff. Got a kind of an old, good old finish to it. This is a cool hood ornament we got. 
unfortunately it's got damage it had a wing there and a wing there but it's that stuff is broke off this is a nice cast iron motorcycle here i believe that's a hubley it's got somebody homemade a handlebar years ago and it's missing the passenger but still a good looking cast iron motorcycle here's another another one this one's a champion that's a cast iron motorcycle somebody's put a long bolt there so it needs to be cut off so it can tighten up that cast but kind of a barn fine condition on those and we got a glass reflector got that cheap got a little fisher body tag got that for a buck show you what's in the box here we did get one other thing here too this is a international i'll take it out of here <coughs> international truck gauge cluster from the 50s so we got that and we got one more thing here we'll show you this is a styling model they had it marked uh 49 to 51 one of 15 styling models rare piece that's what it says there but anyway it's not a 49 it's a 51 as anybody can tell with the two bullets but that's a styling model and those are really hard to come by this one's a convertible and it's made out of plaster there just a great piece nice big scale so we were happy to get that we got some cool stuff and uh i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you on the next round thank you